In 1909, Rutherford and his associates, Marsden and Geiger, carried out an experiment which would change the way that scientists thought about atoms and the structure of an atom. Before that time, scientists thought that atoms were like plum puddings, electrons embedded or stuck into a positive goo, a spherical positive goo. And so when Rutherford performed an experiment where he shot positively charged alpha particles, positively charged alpha particles from a radioactive source through a gold foil, he expected these to act like bullets that would just go straight through uh, the jelly, the positive jelly, and maybe have a little bit of deflection, uh, but not very much. So he was very, very surprised when he found that actually uh, these alpha particles were deflected through, sometimes through very large angles, sometimes coming back the way that they were fired from, uh, and sometimes deflected through small angles. So let's have a look at the experiment and then put it into words to show why these observations meant that we changed the plum pudding model into the nuclear model. So. A radioactive source shoots positively charged alpha particles through a gold foil. Now most of the alpha particles come straight through. Some are deflected through small angles and every now and then one gets bounced back from the way it came. This was incredibly surprising to Rutherford who in his own words said it's like firing an artillery shell at a piece of tissue paper and having the artillery shell bounce back at you. That's how surprised he was. So there's a, three observations and those three observations mean that the nuclear model of the atom was proposed. Most of the alpha particles went straight through. This means that the atom is mostly empty space. In fact, only about one in 8,000 were deflected backwards. A few more were deflected through small angles. So because they were deflected through small angles, this meant that there must be a positively charged nucleus. So if the alpha particle gets close enough, it will deflect. Because some of them re were rebounded straight back, it must mean that the, the nucleus has a very large mass and a large positive charge. Remember, alpha particles are positive themselves. So if you have a head-on collision with a very massive positive charged thing, it would be like a, a, um, a ping pong ball bouncing off a, a cannonball. Let's put this into words so you'll be able to answer this question. Three observations. Number one, so most alpha particles, most alpha particles went straight through, straight through, straight through the gold foil. So this suggests that atoms are mostly empty space, are mostly empty space. See, Rutherford was expecting quite a few of them to be deflected by small angles, but most of the atoms went straight through. That was surprising. Number two, some of the alpha particles, some were deflected, were deflected through small angles, small angles. And that suggests that the nucleus suggests a nucleus and Rutherford actually proposed the term nucleus suggests a nucleus which has a positive charge. A positive charge. Why positive? Well, remember, alpha particles are positive themselves. So if you shot a positive particle, and if it came close to a 
a positively charged nucleus, then like charges repel and you would get a deflection. So number three, the most surprising um, observation, was that a few rebounded rebounded through very large angles through very large angles in fact some of them came straight back and so this meant that the nucleus must have a large mass and a very large positive charge so the nucleus must have a large mass large mass and a very positive charge very positive charge so these observations suggested a new model for the atom the atoms are mostly just empty space that at the center there is this concentration of all of the atoms mass called the nucleus which has a positive charge because of these deflections that were observed and that the nucleus must have a very large mass in fact most of the atom most of the atoms mass just squeeze that in there must be in this central nucleus this tiny central nucleus because of course most of them went through it meant that they didn't get close enough so it must be a very small nucleus and so those are the three observations uh, that you need to be able to explain, which supported the new theory of the nuclear atom.